NiceTightApps.com, and today I'm joined by, well, you know my dad so far. Hey, guys. This is my Uncle Barry. Hey. My grandfather. Hey everybody, hi. And my Uncle Claude. What's up, guys? Uh, everybody came up uh, to Maryland this weekend to uh, celebrate my brother's wedding, which actually took place yesterday, so I thought we'd uh, take this opportunity to fire up a cigar together and uh, make a couple memories. So uh, we're smoking the Dom Papine Cuban Classic. It is the 1952, which is a four and a quarter inch long cigar with a 40 ring gauge. Um, Nicaraguan Puro has a Nicaraguan, let's see here, it's a Habano, Habano Rosado wrapper on the cigar. Um, of course, made by Tabacalera uh, Cubano, which is Don Pepin's factory down in Nicaragua. Um, pretty, uh, oh. We're going to keep this uh, review pretty basic. I mean, we're not here for, uh, you know, the science of the cigar or anything like that. You know I mean? Not really regular cigar smokers, but we're going to kick back and have one with us. So. We're not going to get too technical, right? No, not too technical. Right. Here right. for me. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll go ahead and uh, cut these up and uh, fire them up. And we'll be back with our first impressions. All right. We're back. About a third of the way through our Don Papine Cuban Classics. And so far, I mean, it's a very enjoyable cigar. I mean, it's not a, uh, it's got an, an easy draw to it, uh, producing a lot of smoke. You know, very, um, of course, it has that typical spice up front like most Don Papine cigars do have. But other than that, it's just, you know, a really mellow, smooth, uh, earthy base flavor to it. So, you know, so far, so good. Dad? You know, I was gonna. I thought early on that it was uh, maybe a little milder than I than I like, but this actually kicked in quite a bit for me. It's uh, it's got a nice, uh, strong taste, lots of flavor. I'm enjoying it. We're having a good time sitting out here. It's a little cool tonight. Um, these folks are all from Mississippi. We're in Maryland, so I think they're a little bit cold, but uh, we're enjoying it. Barry, how about you? Same here. Same. Taste, it really tastes uh, tastes uh, pretty good. And smooth. And smooth, it does. Hey, yes. Well, work. I'm not a cigar smoker, but I, I did smoke one yesterday, and I thought that was a, a lot uh, milder than uh, than this cigar. I would say this is a little bit harsh to my taste. Mm -hmm. I, I'm finding it kind of mild, uh, full of smoke. Uh, it does have uh, that earthy taste. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and I think a lot of that harshness is these... Uh, these cigars out of Nicaragua, they tend to have a lot of spice, which could, you know, a lot of times if the cigar isn't, or the tobacco is not uh, aged well enough, that spice can kind of come off as a harshness too. So okay. that could just as well be it. So The one he smoked yesterday was uh, was one of those Perdomo. Did they have a Connecticut shade wrapper? Yes, he did have a Perdomo Lot 23 with a natural wrapper, which is, you know, really nice mild cigar. So. Well, it's, I'm a cigarette smoker, and sometimes I inhale, which I don't know with a cigar, you, whether you should or you shouldn't. Probably shouldn't, but it's And uh, this, when I do that, is a little bit tougher uh, to inhale <laughs> with, <laughs> than than with the, what I had yesterday. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. All right, well, we'll go ahead and uh, smoke some more of these cigars, and when we come back, we'll be over halfway through. Okay, guys, we're back. I'm uh, about down to the bottom of this cigar. I don't know if I'll make it for the next round or not, but uh, in my mind, this has been a, it, it's, it's a great cigar so far. It's absolutely consistent from front to back. Uh, we were just off camera discussing construction, and some of them are burning a little bit crooked. Mine's been burning uh, nice and even all the way down. The, uh, the ash has, what do you call it, flowered a little bit? Yeah, flowers out. Flowered out a little bit on me, but, uh, and I, I had to thump it off several times, but I'm enjoying it. It's been a great cigar. We've had a good uh, several days with all the visitors and everything we've had up here. We've been enjoying a lot of jokes off camera. It's a shame that you can't see those, but we're not going to let you. 
have access to that. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank you. You're probably for the best. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's really been an enjoyable cigar. Uh, very smooth. That spice that came up in the beginning is really mellowed out. Um, there's a little bit of um, um, like a natural sweetness behind the tobacco. Um, it's not very uh, prominent. However, I am picking that up a little bit along with the, the earthiness. So, and that's pretty much the basics on this cigar um, that I'm getting it as of right now. Anybody else want to chime in on this? I don't think so. No, no me, I'm just not a, I just don't smoke them, but to me, I, I sort of like it. Outstanding. Well, yeah. I think my ash is doing quite well, and it's not all uh, off kilter, it's even. And uh, I started enjoying the cigar. I think that uh, after I got kind of used to it again, I'm not a cigar smoker, but uh, the more I smoke it, the more mild I got, and I am enjoying it. I'll see. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, smoke them down a little bit more, and once I'm burning my fingers, we'll come back for a final update. All right, we're back. Fingers are burning now, so it's time to wrap up the cigar. It's really kind of stayed the same uh, as it did there in the middle portion. Uh, very smooth, a lot of earthiness, a little bit of sweetness. Um, not an overly complex cigar, but still a very enjoyable cigar. It probably smoked these in, I don't know, somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes. This is a great break time cigar if you don't have much time to dedicate. So uh, that's my take on this one. No, I, I'm done. I'm finished. Uh, Chris gave me a little pair of needle nose pliers here to hold it at the end. Uh, uh, sort of a complicated looking roach clip, but that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Brain bag over uh, we've had a good time. This has been a great cigar. I think we're just about done. Barry? I have too, yeah. It's a pretty good one. I like it. Good. Chris, nice tie ash going. Uh, yeah, he still has his ash going, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has been an enjoy, uh, enjoy, enjoyable experience. Uh, learned a little bit more about smoking cigars and uh, something I think I'm uh, going to enjoy a little bit more in the future. Oh, good deal. Absolutely. That's it. Well, I'm Pats. You knew Pats. <laughs> Southern <laughs> Miss all the way. So, <laughs> hey, good deal. All right, well. You know, that's it. That's our uh, little untechnical review of the uh, Don Pepin Cuban Classic uh, 1952. So until next time, remember, nothing, nothing beats, beats a nice tie ash. ash.